The spirit of the past is deeply embodied in this striking new Perth building where the developer had a personal connection. So Tim, you grew up in this street? I did, I did. Uh, Mum and Dad are still here after 50 years and uh, we live a few hundred metres away now. So uh, we're away for 20 years and ended up back and yeah, the draw's too strong. You've got this deeply personal connection to the place. So how, how important was it for you to, to, to bring it back to life and then reimagine the corner store and an extension of that for today? I think heading off on a family drive, went past, saw the sign and you know, I thought, gee, it'd, it'd be great to, to, to really bring this back to life. It had been dormant for so long. And uh, I think the vernacular of these streets, it used to be that there was people around and you know, people were walking to different places. And I remember going to that sort of village little feel as a kid you know, with my parents. So I think the whole idea was let's do another coffee shop and, and see where that leads. When you think about the role of the corner deli in neighbourhoods, it was really around local convenience. You know, Enabling Dad not to have to get in the car, he could walk in his slippers across the road, get milk and uh, paper, or kids coming home from school could get some mixed lollies. And so when we looked to reimagine what a, a corner deli could be in the 21st century, it was what other convenience do you want? You want somewhere to have a drink after work, so there's a wine bar, there's still a deli so you can get a paper and milk, but there's a florist, you know, there's a bike shop, all these other little bits that just help, you know, make your life easier. And I think that's what original delis were. And how did you respond to the, to the local architecture? What's around here that you, you, you took inspiration from? Yeah, so this is a heritage neighbourhood and what Mount Lily's famous for is really the, the craft of brickwork, you know, detailing, tuck pointing, and especially red brick. It's synonymous with Federation housing in Mount Lawley. So we looked to those gable roof forms and we also looked to the Melkite church down the road. And so this is a real blending of those two, both house and you know larger scale building look it's a it's a it's a brick and tile town i think it's a clay uh, the clay is readily available um, people love wandering around tapping walls here you know so it's always been a traditional uh, building methodology it is a, a a very resilient form i think when we're talking sustainability and 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 i guess traditional values you know when you look at it you don't need to maintain it it always has a warmth and, and a beauty and a handmade nature to it I think it's actually the craft of brickwork that's got people engaged with the building. And so one thing I like about working with brickwork is the module. It's one module is you in your hand laying a brick. It's a simple, humble object. But you can quickly elevate that into something which has so much more power and strength and art to it. But the beauty of working with brick is it's got patina and it just keeps getting better and better in terms of how it ages. And when you're working in established neighbourhoods, just responding to that context and making something feel lived in from day dot is, is, is a wonderful sort of outcome. It feels fantastic. I think, you know, these streets, as you say, you know, they're, they're my childhood streets and you, you look at this and obviously there's a newness to it, but, you know, you look at it just from a, a form on the street, I, I feel really happy with it. It's exciting. And I think people are excited, you know, and, and, as they've seen it come to life, it's like, oh, well, actually, that's really good. 